Long ago, in a verdant valley nestled between majestic mountains, there lived a sage named Ananda. Ananda was known throughout the land for his wisdom, tranquility, and deep understanding of the human soul. People from all walks of life would travel miles to seek his counsel, hoping to find answers to their life's myriad questions. Ananda's fame reached the ears of a young prince, Ravi, who was struggling with the burdens of leadership and the clamor of palace politics. Desperate for peace, Ravi decided to visit the sage. As Ravi entered the sage's humble abode, he was struck by the simplicity and serenity that surrounded Ananda. Welcome, Prince Ravi, said Ananda, his voice as calm as a still pond. What brings you to this quiet corner of the world, I seek peace, wise sage, Ravi replied. My mind is troubled by the noise and turmoil of my responsibilities. Teach me the path to tranquility, Ananda smiled gently. Very well, young prince. I will share with you a lesson that has brought me great peace. It is the lesson of silence. There are five situations where silence is the wisest response. Each holds a profound truth and leads to deeper understanding. Listen carefully, thus began Ananda's teaching on the art of silence. Silence in anger, the first lesson was about silence in anger. Ananda recounted a story from his own youth. When I was young, I was fiery and quick to anger. One day, a fellow monk, out of jealousy, accused me of something I had not done. I felt a surge of indignation and was about to defend myself vehemently. But then, I remembered the teachings of my master, who often said that anger clouds judgment and words spoken in anger can never be taken back. Ananda took a deep breath and continued, instead of reacting, I chose silence. I allowed my anger to pass, like a storm cloud blown away by the wind. Later, the monk realized his mistake and apologized. By remaining silent, I preserved the peace between us and avoided unnecessary conflict. Ravi listened intently, realizing how often he had let his anger dictate his words, leading to regret and further discord. Remember, Prince Ravi, Ananda said, Silence in the face of anger gives us the space to respond with wisdom rather than react impulsively. It allows us to see the situation clearly and act with compassion. Silence in judgment, the second lesson was about silence in judgment. Ananda told the story of a merchant named Suresh, who had once been a frequent visitor seeking guidance. Suresh was quick to judge others, always pointing out their faults and shortcomings. One day, he came to me, complaining about a new servant who seemed lazy and inattentive. I advised him to observe the servant in silence for a while before passing judgment. A month later, Suresh returned, his demeanor changed. He explained that through silent observation, he had discovered that the servant was not lazy but struggling with personal problems. The servant's family was in dire need, and his distraction was due to worry. Understanding this, Suresh was able to offer help and transform the servant's life, which in turn increased the servant's loyalty and diligence. Silence in judgment, Ananda explained, allows us to see beyond the surface and understand the deeper truths of a person's actions. It fosters empathy and compassion, which are the foundations of true leadership, Ravi nodded, appreciating the lesson. He thought of the times he had judged his courtiers hastily, without understanding their perspectives. Silence in provocation, the third lesson was about silence in provocation. Ananda shared the tale of a wise man named Dhruv, who lived in a village renowned for its quarrelsome nature. Dhruv was often provoked by the villagers who sought to undermine his reputation. They would insult him and challenge his ideas, 
hoping to draw him into heated arguments. But Druv would smile and remain silent, refusing to engage in their provocations. One day, a villager asked him why he never responded to the taunts. Druv replied, a wise person does not waste words on those who seek only to provoke. Silence is a shield against the arrows of provocation. Over time, the villagers grew to respect Druv's calm demeanor and began to seek his advice earnestly. Realizing the futility of their provocations, silence in the face of provocation, Ananda said, disarms the provocateur and prevents the escalation of conflict. It demonstrates strength and self-control, earning respect and admiration, Ravi thought of his court, where provocations were common. He saw the value in responding with silence rather than letting himself be drawn into unnecessary disputes. Silence in Uncertainty, the fourth lesson was about silence in uncertainty. Ananda told the story of a farmer named Harish, who faced a difficult decision about which crops to plant. Harish was uncertain and sought the advice of various people, each giving different opinions. Overwhelmed by conflicting advice, he came to me. I told him to spend a day in silence, Reflecting on his situation without seeking external opinions, Harish followed Ananda's advice. In the stillness of his silent contemplation, he found clarity and decided to plant a new variety of crops, which ultimately thrived and brought him great prosperity. Silence in uncertainty, Ananda explained, allows us to connect with our inner wisdom. It helps us listen to our intuition and make decisions that are true to our hearts, Ravi realized that he often sought advice from too many people, leading to confusion. He saw the value in finding moments of silence to connect with his inner guidance. Silence in grief, the final lesson was about silence in grief. Ananda recounted the story of a woman named Mira, who had lost her husband and was inconsolable, Mira came to me, her heart heavy with sorrow. She could not find comfort in the words of others. I invited her to sit with me in silence, to allow her grief to flow without words, as they sat together in silence, Mira felt a profound sense of peace and acceptance wash over her. She realized that in the silence, she could connect with her husband's memory and find solace. Silence in grief, Ananda said, is a sacred space where we can honor our emotions without the noise of words. It allows us to process our pain and find healing from within. Ravi thought of the times he had tried to console others with words when silence might have been more comforting. With the five lessons of silence imparted, Ananda concluded, these lessons, dear Prince, are the keys to inner peace and wisdom. Embrace silence in these situations, and you will find clarity, compassion, and strength. Ravi bowed deeply, feeling a sense of profound gratitude and understanding. He left Ananda's abode, carrying the lessons in his heart. As he journeyed back to his palace, he resolved to practice the art of silence, the prince found that as he began to incorporate silence into his life, his decisions became clearer, his relationships more harmonious, and his mind more peaceful. The palace, once a place of noise and turmoil, gradually transformed into a sanctuary of wisdom and tranquility under his leadership. Years later, Ravi became known as a wise and just ruler. His subjects marveled at his calm demeanor and the serenity he exuded. Whenever asked about the secret of his wisdom, he would recount the teachings of the silent sage, Ananda, silence, Ravi would say, is not just the absence of sound, but the presence of peace. In silence, we find the answers that elude us in the noise of the world. It is in silence that the true essence of wisdom is revealed, and thus, the lessons of silence passed from generation to generation, 
a testament to the enduring power of quiet contemplation and the profound truths it unveils. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.